Hello viewers and subscribers, welcome to my YouTube channel that is Jupiter Linked. Habay tayo ka special motion balawan ra da uba lakmen remboy. UMLA ka amla rem constituency. Kren uba arden nya ka jingbom yu kam yu jam ki kun samla. Ka jing tray ka batang sipor jong ki nong hikai bat ki nos. Lane ka contractual basis. Hakaba ka lap nang pen kiu susu ya ka jing kerduk kam kerduk jam. Uba arden ula kren ru ya ka jing kang jong ka sorkar ya ka tikmau bat ka kats iap. Ka bala pen kerduk ya ki pat ba ki ba imbai kau haki ni kam bala. Susu uba arden ula kenturu ya ka sorkar jela. Bakan move ya ka resolution ya ka sorkar kemi. Na kemta bandawa ya ka artikel lais pa nyop huwe. Na mar ka artikel lais pa nyop huwe. Kaya daya ngi na ki jing musliye jong ki an jong ka sorkar kemi. Na mar kumbal long haka jela nagalan bat mizoram. Na ka jing don jong ka artikel lais pa nyop huwe. Ki an jong ka sorkar kemi kim lak ban penbor. Bat ban musliye ya kini ki artili ki jela. Uba Arden ula ong bakane ka jing kerduk kam kerduk jam. Kade ka jing bakla jong ka sorkar. Uba Arden ula ong ruk baka sorkar mentah kala kenik bat penduk no ya ki kam jong ki pat ba. That the MDA government has not done enough. So, so, coming to the issue of unemployment. This is the report. Uh, and this is not the first time that we discuss the issue of unemployment in this August House. We had discussed many a time, and I had also raised this issue in the form of motion in the previous years. So, so, but the more we discuss about this issue, the more the problem rises. So, as per the periodic level for survey 2022, tabled by the Union Minister of State, at the parliament, Meghale is the worst in the northeast, sir, and it ranks. Um, it is shown that unemployment rate in Meghalaya is only six percent, uh, followed by Arunachal Pradesh, four point eight percent, Manipur, four point seven percent, Nagaland, four point three. The northeastern states with low unemployment rate are Mizoram 2.2, Sikkim 2.2 respectively, and Assam 1.7%. So, so uh, since we had raised this issue many a time and we had made many suggestions to the government, so I want to raise another level of uh, the problem of unemployment. How can we expect that the unemployment rate will improve when the government is adopting a policy, quote, you scratch my back, I will scratch yours, unquote. We are not only facing problem of unemployment, that the government is not able to create jobs. The problem that we are facing now is that the government is taking away the jobs from the people. You may laugh, sir, but the fact remains that it happens in our state. The introduction of the government to, to appoint people to employ through contractual, through casual and ad hoc pay free for the government to terminate the services of many people who are already in service. Uh, for instance, in the case of the elementary teachers, the government in 19 and 2018 introduced a system where the teachers will have to qualify for this Meghalaya test, eligibility test, MTET. And in the process, more than thousands were terminated from their jobs. And how can it be fair for the teachers who have been working for more than 15 to 20 years to compete with the fresh students. And most of these teachers, now they have been left high and dry, sir. Sir, in the case of 
the nursing. Many nurses who were employed are now left without a job because of this policy adopted by the government, where they employed in a contractual basis for a year, and for every year they have to appear for the test. And again, how do we expect that these nurses who have served for 15, 20 years will be able to compete with those fresh candidates? So the idea of outsourcing to franchisee is also another problem that the people are facing. These employees under these different organizations are left at the mercy of these franchisees. So the government is not responsible for anything that these franchisees are doing, sir. So the rate, the payment, the salary that are being paid to these employees under these different organizations are too small an amount. They are given in a fixed rate. Some are given 7,000, 8,000. So imagine who can survive at the present day with 7,000 salary. They have to work for hours and hours. And the payment also is not regular. So in the process, some people will have to leave the job. So which is why, sir, I feel that the introduction of government for contractual, casual, and ad hoc should be stopped at once. Recently, the government had called for an advertisement to fill up the post of nurses. And again, they are not invited for a regular post, but for contractual. So after a few years, 10 to 15 years, I am sure that these young girls who are employed on a contractual basis will be left without a job as they will not be able to be, you know, to fight or to compete with those fresh candidates. Say like in the case of a police department, what will happen if the government introduces a system where those police personnel who have been recruited for 10 to 15 years will have to undergo for a fitness together with the fresh candidates. Most of them, I know, they will not be able to compete with them, sir. So this is another area, sir, if we are really concerned about solving the unemployment problem, because this is one of the areas that increase the unemployment rate in the state. So another area where we have seen is that Many contractors, suppliers, they are now not getting a job like 10 to 15 years. Because if you don't belong to a particular party, a ruling party, you will not, get, you will not be rewarded a contract or supply works. Which is why in the start, I've mentioned that the government is adopting a policy, you scratch my back, I will scratch yours. The situation has come to a stage where it is not the engineer who allot the work. All the contract works, the supply works, is now being allotted by the minister in charge of that department. So instead of bringing employment to the people, we create more unemployment problem. So therefore, sir, I feel that as a responsible government, we should ensure that everyone in the state is being treated equally based on their merits, based on their competencies. So we have seen the problem arising out of the coal ban, ban on stone and sand mining, which the government has expressed that it is helpless 
It cannot do anything. Let us not forget that thousands and thousands of families are depending their livelihood on these works. Which is why I had raised in this August House the need to move a resolution to the government of India to extend the Article 371 to the state of Meghalaya. The Honorable Deputy Chief Minister has just read the ruling of the Supreme Court where no exemption can be entertained for those areas falling under this six scheduled areas. But we know that Article 371 is a law that can protect us from the interference or the application of the central law, which says that no act of parliament can apply in respect of social religious practices <coughs> for the Nagas, that is Article 371A for the Nagaland and 371G for the state of Mizoram. No act of parliament can apply in respect of social religious practices of the Nagas <coughs> and Mizos, respectively. <coughs> Administration of civil and criminal justice according to the customary laws of the Nagas and Mizos. Ownership and transfer <coughs> of land and its resources. So if we have this article being made applicable to the state of Meghalaya, <coughs> we will be protecting ourselves from the intervention of the central law. The state government alone can regulate rules and policy that will help the indigenous people of the state. So, it has come to my notice that the MECL has stopped recruitment for years altogether. There is a gap in the years to come to fill the vacancy in that corporation. And there is a perception that maybe the authority concerned is planning to apply a lateral entry in the later stage. So, so these are the concerns that <clears throat> government needs to look into seriously and address the problem so that we can reduce the rate of <coughs> unemployment <coughs> in the state. And so I would also like to bring to the notice of this August House that in, four, in 52 divisions in the public work department, the government has failed to pay salary to numbers of grateful employee. And another issue that we are informed is that there has been a circular where employees who have been appointed through a proper procedure who have passed DSC, they are being told that their vacancy is, I mean, to say that uh, they have been told that their vacancies, which they have been appointed, <coughs> are the lapse vacancies. So this has created, you know, uneasiness in the minds of those employees. Where will they go now? After having served for 20 years, the department informed them that your post, though you have passed DSC, is appointed against the lapse vacancy. So these are the problems, which is why I'm saying that <coughs> we are not only discussing about unemployment, the failure of the government not to be able to create jobs, but also that the government is now taking away the jobs from the people. So, sir, I wish the government will take off this matter seriously and rectify and ensure that those who have been in service for 15, 20, 20 years must be taken care 
and they should not be thrown out like that and left them high and dry. So with these few words, sir, I resume my seat. Thank you.